Hello, hello, hello everyone, I'm Aussie JTV and we're back with some more Ancient Legacy of Azul. Actually the first recording run that we've done after the uh, stream that we did on Thursday. So spoiler alert here, but we did get quite a few unlocks in that stream. Most importantly, as you can see, we now have one win. We have 49 deaths as well, but at least we have one win and we can improve that sort of KDA over time. Or at least KD, I guess, kills death. There's no assists in this game. And we also unlocked quite a cool, few cool new items. We've got the rabbit's foot now. We've got the lamp root, which I'm really excited to use, uh, which coupled with the flame lash is basically two things that basically deal with our light radius. So the area around our character that is brighter. And we've not seen too much work with that so far in the game. We know there's this Azul item that works on light radius. So we should be able to combine them and hopefully make a really cool light run if possible. And then finally, we unlocked the Wind Blade, which we didn't do in at all any sort of cheaty, cheesy way, I promise. It was a bug, okay? I didn't mean to do it. Um, and also, if you're interested, all of the stream videos will be going up on YouTube. I will put a little stream VOD in the banner just so that you're aware in case you've seen it before because you're at the stream or you're not particularly interested in that content because obviously I'm talking a little bit more with chat and things like that. But finally, and most importantly, we have unlocked the Bounty Hunter. So this is the final character. I haven't really played too much with them, but I will show you what I found so far. So the first thing is they have, they look really chunky and they've got a, a shotgun. What more could you ask for? And they do remind me a lot of, I think it's called the, it's either the Musketeer or the Arbalist in Dark Darkest Dungeon, if you've ever played that before. And their standard attack is sort of your standard shotgun spray. What is very interesting about it is that spray has randomness. I mean, that's what this whole game is about, isn't it? You have a chance to... Uh, everything about it is random with the mutations and everything else. Then you've got like a focus shot. I think of this almost like an armor piercing round. So it like goes through everything, um, you know, pierces through all the enemies. Very similar actually to some of the spells that the Pathfinder can use. And then you've got a dodge roll, which is basically Samus Incarnate, where you drop a bomb on at your feet and then you dodge roll away. And then finally, you've got a big mortar strike. Let me get some space and I'll show you. Basically, you fire a mortar up in the air and you get a bunch of rockets. I'm finding that quite hard to aim. We did play a little bit of this character at the end of the stream uh, on Thursday, but we didn't really do too much with it. And yeah, that's basically it. And interestingly, we are starting with a uncommon mutation so i've been calling the blues rare i think and the the purples like epics or legendaries i have we had the uh developers in the stream for a bit and they did confirm actually that blues are uncommons and yellows are rares so if you're wondering oh i need to do, get so many rare mutations in order to unlock something it's actually based around having the yellow ones not the not the blue ones so that's about all I know with this character. One thing I was hoping for is that they'd be really good at killing birds because, you know, they've got a shotgun. And that is definitely not the case. If anything, they're harder to kill the birds with than any other class, mainly because you sort of only attack directly in front of you. Um, I guess maybe the Marauder is probably harder to hit them with because he literally can't get any range at all. But as you can see, it's very difficult to kill them, which is not ideal. It looks like we are going to start the boss here and now. One last thing I will say, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'll think of more things as, as, we, as we get through the game, but having the developers in the chat did help with answering some questions that I had that I wasn't really sure about. And one of the key things is how these boss altars work. First of all, once you use them, it stops you buying things from the shops, but it doesn't sh stop you picking up things from chests. So actually, we have the opportunity to, uh, you know, pick up, uh, start the boss earlier so that we can then pick up some chests afterwards while still keeping our timer reasonably in shape. And the second thing is when we've been wondering, oh, we've been doing a really good job because we've, you know, we've killed the boss before the time has run out. Actually, it works slightly differently. Well, it does work like that. But basically, you get souls while you're killing things under the under the teleporter timer, should we say? I'm worried we're going to die here. Tomorrow. I cannot kill these birds. And I think that's what's going to kill us. Yep, we are dead. Well, that was a bit of a rubbish starting run, but we will uh, we will per persevere. Um, I did actually try and record once already today, and there was a little bit of a problem. So just for awareness, and I think the devs are aware of this and working on it, is that if you've got a controller plugged in, sometimes it gets confused about what is taking the input. So often I was just randomly stopped moving, um, and that's because I think it switched to the controller uh, key bindings and then it switched back straight after so just for awareness i've unplugged my controller now and i recommend you do unless you want to play with controller in the first place which to be fair i did did try out for the first time and it actually was pretty fun so maybe i should be switching from a keyboard warrior to a to a controller warrior but i mean it's all it's all good so i'm going to show this off straight away it's probably a bit early to be fighting the boss but at least we can still pick up all the chests and that's what i really wanted to uh highlight to people 
you know, you don't have to worry about clearing the whole room all the way from the left to the right first, which is what I always used to do, if you remember. Instead, I can fight the boss and then start going. And here's the Lucky Rabbit's foot. First time I've actually had this item, but it's interesting to see. So we've now got a dodge chance. And I know there is an item that we can unlock by uh, getting, I think, 50% dodge chance. So I assume the only way to do that is to get... Uh, five lucky rabbit's feet, but that's definitely possible. That's definitely possible. Um, this is the only problem with fighting the boss earlier is you don't do quite as much damage, so you're not as likely to get those elite soul items. So I think I we just want to try and kill as many enemies, including the boss, in the timer, right? Rather than just the boss. That's the main thing that I was trying to get across earlier. And so far, though, so good. I do feel like this bounty hunter is going to take some getting used to, like how to play. Um, I'm still not sure if they're the most difficult character. I mean, I've not played them much at all. I still think the Nomad's probably the most difficult character for me to play, at least. But this character definitely, because of how long it takes to use some of the spells, and they're a bit fiddly with their weight, so, you know, you can't easily hit the birds, for example, makes me think, hmm, maybe this is actually the hardest character. Let's see if I can drop the bomb there. That's doing a decent amount of damage. Well, at least we should be able to kill the boss in a second, and we'll at least see the second area. I'm hoping we'll find some good stuff in our store to buy. And, oh, just, that was a quick good one. One good thing to notice is all the characters actually have a dog, um, invincibility frames apart from the Marauder in one of their spells. So I think that's one of the things that I was not 100% sure on when I was talking about them in my runs is, you know, do you actually have any invincibility with, like, let's say the 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 nomad i'm going to take this this is one of the ones we unlocked on the stream we haven't actually played with it properly yet but basically it does it has a chance to lash all enemies within our light radius on hit so i don't know if you can really it doesn't look very clear in this map but there's a slight circle around our character like this and basically anything in that is considered within our light radius and we also have the lamp route which is another thing we unlocked which increases our light radius i have been assured by the developers you can make your light radius the whole screen which would be absolutely amazing if we could do that um, and for now, I, I probably should be going straight through the teleporter, but I did realize we never checked out the right-hand side of the screen, so I'm going to have a quick look. This might be the last time, in fact, as you see, it was completely useless. I was much better going through uh, the store. I'm trying to think, when we did do our first win, which, uh, you know, for spoilers, was the Marauder, I'm trying to think how long it took us to win. I think it's probably about a 20-minute run in total, so you do have to go, well, maybe you don't have to go fast, but going fast definitely benefits you. The other thing that we will see soon enough, hopefully, is you do have a choice. Instead of fighting the final boss, you can try and loop and basically do a second loop of the run. Uh, and everything obviously continues to scale with mutations and the like. Um, just, just to have more fun, you know, see how crazy you can get, how many of different items you can get and things like that. So let's see if there's anything particularly exciting here. Um, we could try and get this to increase our movement speed. It, basically, our movement speed and our attack speed will, crit a, a, will combine a bit. But to be honest, none of that's particularly appealing to me. Um, in fact, no, I'm not going to take it. I might take this just, just for the, to be on the safe side because this, this is going to give us a chance on hit to in, impact freeze on the enemy. And then we'll go on from here. You know, it's the first shop. You don't necessarily find anything that you really, really want. And to be honest, for me, it was just going to be a snap pick, anything to do with the lamp, everything else, a bit more of a question mark. And we didn't get any lamp-based items. So let's see what else we get here. I've also started to learn... Oh, that's very good. We've now got some uh, lifesteal, basically. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to defeat this elite very easily. That's the only thing I'm worried about, because I'm still learning the ropes with this character. And it does seem that they are a bit finicky to uh, move around sometimes. But we'll give it our best shot. I think we're not doing too badly. Oh, that was very bad. I didn't turn around properly. I think we got this. No problem. It's just the last enemy there. Not that that's a very particularly good uncommon to get, but I'll take it. Anything's better than nothing. And we will continue to move on just for awareness if anyone's wondering how you unlock this lamp route um it's actually really easy i probably could have unlocked it ages ago and never bothered um at, at the end of the screen in the swamp i don't know if it's every single time you go in the swamp but at least most times there is effectively a building and i've walked into it many times not thought too much of it but effectively that uh building has an interactable so you can press that and then it will unlock said uh item for you and apparently, you know, uh, one of the developers definitely seemed to be his funnest builds always include the lamp. So I'm definitely intrigued to try it. And that is some very good luck getting another rare already. Uh, maybe this this re this run is going to be, uh, you know, I'll say our first proper successful run with the bounty hunter. I mean, we didn't do very well on the stream run, but, you know, we only played for like 10 minutes. So it's just to learn the ropes just at the end of the stream. And we'll see how it goes. I'm just thinking what we want to make of this run. 
I'm still thinking we go for like a light radius build. But the only thing I will say about that is, you know, the bounty hunter is probably not the best to go for a light radius build because they're not melee. You know, on the Marauder, on the Wayfarer, on the Nomad, I imagine those are the real times where you want to do that because then you can just, you know, have all the enemies come to you and deal all the damage. Whereas with this, hopefully we're killing more and more before they get in. I mean, I guess it still works as a good passive defense. And argue maybe we can let them get close to us because of that. And if you're wondering why I'm not taking this soulstone, if you saw in the previous videos, basically I don't. It, it, it combines with two of the uncommon items that you can get: the axe and the shield that you unlock. Well, I guess you don't have to unlock with the Marauder, but it's sort of based around the Marauder. Um, and we don't have any of them now, so I don't see the point in getting that. It will do nothing for us initially, at least. And let's fight the boss instead. Um, in fact, I might pick up this first because you might want to upgrade something, especially if you want to upgrade one of our, our rares. We're, we're going to need two Azul Stones, so might as well do that. And th in fact, this is what you need to press to unlock the Lamp Root. This is the interactable. Obviously, I can't interact with them right now um, just because I've already done it once before. But that gives you an idea of what you have to do in the game. Let's see if we can uh, get a little dodge on. I'm wondering if we do want to stay a bit close to the boss just to try and get this Flame Lash. What's interesting is I was hoping it would be really obvious when the Flame Lash was hitting. But I can't really see it. Oh, I think it was that little beam, maybe, that we just saw. Um, but yeah, it'd be really cool if it was a proper, proper, you know, flame lash. I mean, I'm not just saying the same thing, like a big whip that will hit the enemy. It just shows that a boss has come on the screen when I'm sort of losing the ability to speak regular English, unfortunately. But it looks like the Grave Lord's going to go down no problem. And it looks like we even got some mortar hits, which is always very good. So let's see how much we can sort of build up our, our souls, I should say, on this... Uh, on this fight. So basically, how many of these enemies can we kill before that timer runs out? I'm not sure if there's any way to see how many souls you've got, but I do know there is an unlock if you can get 50. So basically, kill 40 enemies, plus the boss gives 10 souls by the time that timer runs out. Obviously, never done that yet. And I just don't feel like the enemies are spawning fast enough for us to do it, to be honest. But um, let's start heading back, because we've at least it must be the time must be done for now. And if we've done well, we might see, you know, a rare. We didn't this time. And I'm wondering, neither of these are particularly good. I'm going to take this just because we don't have too much healing at the moment. So if we do need to stand still in a pinch, we will be able to get some health back. And already looking at this, we could go, we could get the Azul item to increase our cooldowns. But you know what? I think for now, I'm going to purchase the Azul Stone and get a second level of the Worm Skull. So now we've got two spirits that are going to follow us around. I would also be quite tempted in picking up some Dot, but do we really want to go down to zero? I mean, I guess why not? There's not really a big harm. Uh, is that, we'll, only, we'll only regret that if we see like an Azul item straight away or a rare item as soon as we get into the third stage that we'd want to pick up. But um, I don't think so, or at least not so far. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just trying to get the Dodgers in. Seems to be going pretty well so far, if I do say so. There we go. And we picked that up. I'm almost tempted to just start this boss fight straight away. I'm trying to think if there's a reason not to. I mean, I guess they, there's no reason to as well, apart from just to go faster. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the right and then we'll start the boss once we get back. I think that's probably going to be the best bet. Um, let's see. So if you wanted to know, if you did want to unlock, it was like, how do you stay for 10 seconds? How do you stay airborne for 10 seconds? You know, that's really difficult. And that's how you unlock that wind blade rare. Um, one of the glitches that I was told about, which I didn't use, I will tell you, was basically to hop up and down on a geyser consistently. So, yeah, if you're struggling to get that unlock and you want to do it that way, feel free. I would say, you know, that's not in the spirit of the game, really. You should be trying to do it just by getting as many double, triple jumps, etc., justifying the existence of those items and going from there. Now, this is probably a bit risky. Probably shouldn't be doing it, but I can never say no to the red lady when I see her. So basically, we've got half health for the rest of this re this realm, this uh, stage, but we will get a lot of rewards if we manage to complete it. So I'm going to start the boss as soon as I can. So basically, as soon as I get down uh, and background, I might even pick up this as well, just because anything that's going to make our fight easier will be much appreciated. Um, just see what we'll get in the. There's no reason not to take the things in the in the chests while we're running back, and then we shall fight. Let's see. I think this is where the boss is. Yep, this is where the boss altar is. So let's start it off. And I really want to just see if we can melt the boss as fast as possible. Like maybe try and stand on top of it and just see how much damage we can do. Because it also lets our flame whip hit. But I do need to be careful about our health. I, you know, I can't forget that. We're only on half health. And the dots this enemy does can be quite difficult indeed. I'm going to get a little bit of space between us now. See if I can get a mortar shot off. That was the main reason for that. And it did indeed work. Get some jumps in. I feel like it's feeling a lot more fluid so far. Get the dodge through through his attack. You know, nothing's going too bad for now. Though I am a bit worried that we've got a load of birds. And I just said how difficult it can be to dodge the birds with this character. 
Um, but so far so good. I probably shouldn't have dodge rolled like that. Are we going to die to all of these? Actually, I, keep, I feel like I think that we're a lot uh, squishier than we actually are because that was very easy. Um, we didn't even come that close to dying. I know we did get one level up. And I'm still thinking in the back of my mind, can we get the, the 50 soul thing? Because that would be really good. But I'm going to move to this side because there should definitely be some options. We can't use these after we spawn the boss, unfortunately. But I'm hoping there'll be at least one more treasure chest over here. Oh, that's not facing the right direction. I think because this character feels a bit chunkier in their attack, sometimes you can think you've turned around or at least inputted the keybind to turn around and not actually done so. Um, and there you go. That's the end of the screen. It wasn't particularly worthwhile to go this way. But, you know, you don't know until you try. And we're not going to have a shop because of the Red Lady. We're going to go straight into that cathedral. So it means that, you know, we can think about spending, saving up and banking it for the shop after the Hive Queen, you know, after the desert area. And if you didn't see it, one thing I would definitely suggest, obviously go watch me win the game. You know, that's what that's what everyone was here for on the stream. That was what I promised at the start. Um, but I would really recommend you go watch, I think it was the end of the third video that's going to come up that's a stream VOD. Let's just say we had to fight more than our fair share of bosses very early on in the game. Uh, and I'd really recommend seeing that. Oh, level three of this. We are going spirit build. I don't even think there's anything that goes with the spirits. I do believe that things like crit chance, attack speed, all of these good things, they do work with uh, your summons. So all of these guys should be getting the benefits of some of our on hit things and everything else. Uh, but apart from that, I don't know much about them. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping we can get a mortar. Oh, they move quite fast, actually. So that's not going to be a, mortar, a successful mortar strike anyway. But we're doing a lot of damage. Not a problem at all. Um, I'm wondering if we want to pick up another one of these dragon stones. It's just because we don't have an Azul item yet. And we could stack it up and then go for the Totem of the Crow. Which I don't think I've really used properly on a video yet. But the Totem of the Crow basically allows you to... Um, Basically gives your dots a lot more damage. I think I think it's increased stacks. So obviously that's really good for a character that's got items like the Dragonstone. Um, and I am just a bit worried. And maybe I've got too worried. I should probably not be thinking too much about the time. I'm like, if I won the last game in like 20 minutes or something like that, I'm only on stage four, you know? I'm only like halfway through. And it's already 12 minutes. Well, I guess if I'm saying I'm halfway through, I'm only just over halfway through the time as well. So maybe it's not too bad, but... Um, I'm just going to keep walking around. I'm going to get to the end of this stage, turn back. And, you know, at least we have more chances to get these elites. Um, I say elites, the, these spawners, because that could give us some good upgrades as well. See how much damage we can do here. I think we can just probably blast them. Yeah, that was easy enough. Get some dodge chance. Pick up another. I mean, we could try and cleanse, but none of this is particularly scary. I'm not the hugest fan of freezing times two. Uh, but, you know, really, really could be worse. So I'm not going to worry too much. Let's see if we can get past some of these. I wouldn't mind some more health. Like, I know, uh, you know, it's what I always go for on, on the YouTube videos at least. And maybe I should be mixing them up more. But that Weeping Heartstone would do very well right now, I think. Just, oh, that was very silly. Um, yeah, just anything to give us a little bit more health. I don't know, I feel a bit uncomfortable at 450. But we are killing enemies so quick, so fast, that it doesn't seem to matter. Um, so... This is, I believe, the earliest stage in which you can see double bosses. Well, I think, actually, all, everything's luck-based, right? But it gets much, much rarer the earlier on you are in the game. So if you had to fight two giants in the first world, you can be sure that you have been very, very unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to jump over here. Just thinking, if we get three Azul Stones, that's going to give us the ability to both pick up... Yeah, that's going to allow us upgrade... Um, but buy another rare and upgrade our... Well, I say upgrade our Azul item. We don't have one yet. But if we did get one, it would allow us to upgrade. I'm going to get poisoned, aren't I? I'm not going to be able to dodge all these. In fact, I didn't think I dodged many at all. I'm hoping more... To this, is, I, this is the boss I'm worried about with um, playing the the Bounty Hunter. Because I'm just like, if I'm not good at killing anything in the air normally, then this is going to be really difficult. I think we're very fortunate that um, our, we've got all of these summons. Because these summons don't seem to be having a problem whatsoever with uh, shooting uh, up. Or like shooting at an angle. So I think that's the main thing that's making this a lot easier than it would be otherwise. Just notice we have a lot of dots on us. I'm going to see if I can field ration a little bit just to bring ourselves back up. That worked very well indeed. I'm hoping that mortal is going to be a kill. It wasn't quite. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. I think I accidentally clicked off the screen, so apologies. Um, why are all these chests open? Am I going crazy? Oh, I must have started here and headed to the right. I was like, I thought I started right next to the boss altar. We've been moving quite a bit to the side. Okay. 
So that's that. And I think we're, this is probably going to be the edge, so I'm not going to go any further. Try and recoup some of this time that I've I've lost on the earlier stages. Because to be fair, this run wasn't looking all that until I got very lucky on some of these rare items. I mean, if I see any more spirits, that would be great. Imagine if we can get this, you know, up to like times five or something like that. It'd be crazy. I mean, having a little army follow you around. Maybe I can try and do the no casting spells challenge. See how far we can get with that. I don't expect that to work particularly well, but it'd be interesting. And let's go through the portal. See what we have to buy. We've got a lot of money this time. I mean, we probably should think about getting an Azul item now. You know, we've got, we can reduce our cooldowns. It can't be a bad thing. It doesn't really suit the idea of being, actually one thing we almost certainly want to do is let's let's calm the world because that was going really hard. We would have got um, a rare mutation. Let's purchase that and maybe we'll go both of these, I guess. We'll get the wind blade because you haven't seen it if you've not watched the stream. So that's going to mean we have a chance when shooting to shoot a tornado. I'm wondering if it will happen in the shop. And I think it's only a 10% chance, 8% chance. Even. So, And that's all of our stuff. We could calm the world again. I mean, it seems like a lot of money to spend. I'm just trying to think if there's something we'd rather do. Nothing else looks good here. It's just whether we'd want to save the money. I mean, might as well calm it. We've got nothing else to do. Lowers us back to 173 and see what we can get in Dryad Land. I wonder if all these stages... I mean, I was about to say, do they have names? Because like, I bet you I haven't been paying attention to the names. The Orchard. Okay, so that's where we are this time. Makes sense with Dryads and everything spawning. Uh, let's try and make some space. Oh, the enemies are birds. I was like, why Why can't I Why can't I see them? And they just did a lot of damage to me from, from the sky. I hope This is where I'm really hoping our... Our spirits will help us because I'm struggling to hit them, that's for sure. And I think that's them all dead already. Yeah, there's a lot of... I feel like there's a greater proportion of flying enemies spawning here compared to in, like, previous runs. Now, what I'm thinking is, is this a trade post? This is a trade post. So I'm going to trade three times to get the, the unlock. I believe it's 50%. That should be... Increases dodge chance by 10%. 10% per stack. I feel like that should have given us the unlock unless I've forgotten what we needed. But anyway, 50% job chance is not going to be a problem at all. Oh, non-linear scaling. So I don't know, what is our actual dodge chance? Dodge chance is 33%. Oh, we're going to need a lot of rabbit's feet. I still think we're probably going to do this, um, but we just need to think about that a bit better. Um, and we could also similarly trade a load of things into buffing up our flame lots. But I think for now, we're probably going to try and get that unlocked because I imagine it's quite hard to get your dodge rate that high. And also it sounds really good to have a dodge rate that high as well. Um, and there's not any particular yellow, uh, sorry, white items that I'm particularly fond of keeping. I mean, I think the biggest thing was it'd be good to keep the lamp roots just because they link with our flame whip, but it's really not a necessity, I would say. It's just a nice to have. And yeah, we're on, we're only at 37.5. We're going to need a lot of rabbit's feet, guys. But I think this is the perfect opportunity. It's not often you'll find a trade post for the one thing that you would need to, to get an unlock. So might as well not waste it. And I feel like we're so strong at the moment that Dodge Chance is going to help. You know, I was just saying, if we want to go for that build, which is we don't cast any spells and let our spirits do all the work, having 90% you know, Dodge Chance sounds like a really good way to get that to happen. Um, so let's keep on moving. I'm going to spawn the boss as soon as we get over there. But first, well, first I'm going to trade in the, the rabbit feet and then I'm going to spawn the boss. I think that seems the best. And these are the tornadoes, by the way, that Windblade is shooting out. So it seems really strong. I mean, the knockback's going to be good with a range catch. So how many times are we going to have to trade this? So 41, 44, 47. Is this going to be 50? 50%. 50 now, we could try and go further, but I think, I think there's no reason to. I mean, 90%. I mean, how does it work? I mean, each, we each weapon's got to be worse off than the ones before. So I, I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to get rid of stuff that's really buffing our, our spirits. But then again, what are we really getting that's buffing our spirits here? A lot of it's our blue items. Why don't we try and make our, our dodge chance the, the highest it can be? Why not? Let's try it out. Um, though I guess maybe we should try and... I'm just saying that and now I'm like, do we need a field rations? Do we have any... Re field rations are only regen now and, and these two gnarled roots. So actually, I'm changing my mind again. I think we're going to keep it as is. You know, we're already at... We're already at 53%. You know, one in two shots should we should dodge. So that's already really good. And we'll have a little explore to the right while we're waiting for the boss to spawn. And there she is. And as you can see, she should go down fairly fast is the hope. And look at that. It's great to see that dodge chance. I always hate it when the enemies get phasing. So this is the opposite. This time we, we're the ones with phasing, which is really good to see. It feels like... I think because I can basically... That's a good point. Is can you basically just stand still with field rations on if you've got such a high dodge chance? Maybe I'll do the no casting spells and no moving challenge. 
You know, maybe that's getting a bit too ahead of myself, I think. But it's interesting to think that you can do stuff like that. Um, yeah, there we are at the edge of the screen. Yeah, but like, look, if I just stand still here, we're getting hit by a beam. And normally I absolutely hate getting hit by the beam. But we're not taking any damage. Like, look, we're healing up through this, really. I mean, I guess we do need to be careful about these guys. They're chunking our health quite a bit. But yeah, that's interesting to know. Okay, you know, th this has legs. I feel like this build has legs. Could we be getting our first win on YouTube just straight after getting our first win on stream? That would be absolutely fantastic, I must say. And let's continue on for now. Might as well pick up a shuriken. And we've got 3,400 money as well. That's quite a bit. Uh, is there anything particularly exciting here? I don't think so. Um, we're probably going to upgrade our crown. Though, I say that, that's not going to help us in our mission to not ever attack. But I feel like banking on that is not the way to go. So let's cleanse the world. I meant I meant to upgrade. What was I doing? Did we at least get rid of something good? I wasn't even paying attention. I meant to use the armory and upgrade our crown. That was so silly. But oh well. Just means this wasn't as good a shop as we hoped for. I think we're strong enough at the moment. That's not going to be the end. But I do need to pay more attention. You know, you shouldn't be letting these things happen to you. Especially if you're trying to... Trying to Oh, we got more flying enemies. Why do they keep giving us these? I'm just so glad we picked up the spirits. Like, look at this. We, we, we can barely hit them ourselves. We have not done any of the work here. Um, maybe on that last hit. But yeah, really not much at all. And let's progress onwards. I'm going to try and maybe pick up the pace slightly. Just because I feel like we don't need to be getting all this really good stuff. I don't feel like there's a much of a benefit. I'm going to get increased attack speed because I feel like that would be good for our spirits. Um, apart from that, I'm, you know, we haven't even seen a single rare mutation, which is what I would be worried about. Um, and we did try and do one, one of these on camera with the death mask. I still don't think it's very strong. It might just be that I haven't got all the unlocks that go with it. Um, but the fact that you basically have to... Oh, another rabbit's foot. We're going to increase our dodge chance even more. Um, yeah, basically the fact that only a couple of items basically give that chance to... I'm going to purchase this. Sorry, I'm just, just trying to think in the back of my mind. Um, because only a couple of items actually work when you take damage. Also, how do we get over here? Are we going to have to do this? This is a bit of a pain. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but we just have to wait the cooldowns out. It's a good job we've got the crown for something like this. And I guess, well, I guess we can drop down the second time because there's going to be no problem there. And where is our boss friend? I can't see him. He must be over there somewhere. I am keeping an eye on my health. We are taking quite a bit. I will stand still. Where is he? He must be down there. Can he come back? Can he come up here? It'd be a bit of a pain if he couldn't. There he is. There he comes. <laughs> he seems to be a bit stuck climbing there, but not, not what I'm complaining. Okay, we are going to move a little bit. It doesn't look like we can just stand still forever. Um, and I, I'm thinking that we haven't opened up all of our chests on this side, especially because on the crater, on the far left, there's always going to be a chest, assuming you can jump up to reach it. Now that I say that, I don't think we have any jumping abilities, so I'm not convinced that we will have an easy way to do that. But, oh well. Um, the thing is, when you're doing exploring, it just means we're probably not going to kill the boss on the first the first run through, which, I don't know, it will decrease the quality of what we're going to get out of the teleporter, but it can't be too bad. Let's see if we can keep on moving. I'd have thought the boss would sort of teleport or respawn towards you. Oh, okay, it's a shame that we missed out on this. We could have upgraded our weapon if we'd seen that, or our Azul item, I should say. But increased lamp radius, that will go well with our, um, what's it called, our flame lash. We've got a couple more things we can pick up here. Some movement speed, that can go quite well. I do, I'm feeling quite slow with this character. And another field rations, that will go very well indeed with the fact that we're trying to stand still quite a bit. Um, it's a shame this, enemy, this boss is so slow. I'd like to be doing chip damage as I was running this way. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I mean, we're not in a huge rush. I feel, huge rush, sorry. I can speak English for a second. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to reach this. In fact, I don't think there's any way we can reach it. So let, let's progress onwards, progress back the way we came. Kill some of these enemies. There is a lot of these centaurs. So all these enemies as well are based on a percentage chance of spawning. So, oh, my toast is good. We're getting that near the end of the run. Um, but yeah, so you can actually get centaurs very early on. Potentially, if you're unlucky, they could spawn in like the third area. I think I might have even had one spawn on the second area. I can't remember specifically. Um, but yeah, so you, basically any enemy can spawn in different places. I haven't seen the what I call the weird alien enemies uh, the, on this level anywhere else before. So I don't know if that's because they are locked this area, but I don't imagine they are. I'm just trying to get these dodges off. We, we seem to be doing fine. It's just it's not a very fast kill. And also our, our blunderbuss or our shotgun blast does have a max range. So as you can see, I'm not actually hitting the boss at the moment um, since we're too far away. But we're going to get a good mortar strike. I need to remember that we are quite low on health. I'm going to try and stand still for a bit. 
Oh, good job we leveled up that. I was just thinking to myself, I don't think I'm actually healing through this standing still. Probably taking more damage from standing still than I am anything else. But that heal was very clutch. Getting a bit, um, I don't know, a bit... I should probably be focusing a bit more on my health. You can't be dying like that. That'd be really sad. Okay, so that's that area done. We are now up to... Where are we next? Are we at the boss? Is this the boss next? Am I missed the, missed the stage? I think it is the boss next. So we just... I'm a bit worried. I'll, I'll run just for awareness. While it does look very strong, and it is, it's not as strong as the run that we managed to do that gave us the victory. So hopefully I'm going to be better um, and we'll be able to do it easily. I'm just worried you don't get much of a chance to heal in the boss fight. And we don't, we haven't really upgraded our Azul item at all. So let, let's keep going. We might as well get the range, even though I don't know how much we'll be able to keep the boss at range. And then spend all of our money. I'm thinking we still get lab radius. And then just trying to increase that range as much as possible. Um, purchase a stone. We might as well upgrade our brass crown once. And then what else do we want to do? I guess I'm probably going to keep no I'll, I'll, I'll restore instability once just because i don't want mitosis to give like double of a really powerful mutation near the end and you do get a chance to buy things in here as well so we'll see what we can do now there is i don't think i mentioned it earlier um correct me if i'm wrong but there is you can loop in this game so and what i mean by that is instead of fighting the last boss you could instead go i'm going to uh decide to go back through the whole game from the start again Look at our lamp radius. Uh, I'm not going to do that this time, mainly because we're already at a 30 minute video and also because it'd be good to show a proper victory on YouTube as well, which we haven't done yet. So that's the main reasons I'm going to do that. But don't worry, it will happen at some point. Um, and let's see, can we kill these guys? They're floating so much. It makes it much more of a nuisance to actually get the hit on them. There we go. I think this is going pretty well. I do need to be a bit careful. I'm not standing in the way of them. I can't tell how well this is going, to be honest. I mean, we're not taking a ton of damage, but are they really dying? Or is there, like, extra vampiric? I don't know. It doesn't look like we got the upgrade, which is a shame. Uh, double phasing. That's probably one of the worst things we could have got out of the mitosis. Maybe we should just be rushing the boss at this point. In fact, I'm going to just... I'm just going to rush the boss. At least give us more space. Like, fighting in that cramped corridor was not particularly useful. Uh, not worth any of our times. I'm surprised that they didn't... We didn't seem to do too much damage there. I don't know if it was a combination of maybe... Yeah, but they don't have Vampiric here. I thought it had, maybe Vampiric is what I got rid of earlier because I was convinced that we had Vampiric somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm just a bit worried about this phasing. I'm not going to lie to you all. Um, I'm going to pick this up, get some extra bleed. There's no worries there. And there is a chest, so going to get that as well. And there. Okay, perfect. I think we're pretty much set. I don't know if there's anything else we're really going to be able to get unless we're very fortunate on these. I don't know. Oh, that's very good, speaking of being fortunate. I was just going to ask. Okay, we get a bit unfortunate with the fortunate, but I think our, our fortune out, outweighs the unfortune there. Uh, what I was wondering is, if you get a mutation on a on one of those unknown god statues, does it get doubled by mitosis? I'm sure we would have seen that on the mitosis run that we did, but I can now officially confirm that it does. Um, hmm. I just do feel like we've suddenly got weaker. We needed the fourth spirit, and we needed to go for that spirit build. Unfortunately, we can't control uh, getting it or not getting it. We must be near the end of this chapel. I think it's a chapel. Um, I could be wrong. Might as well pick up this last chest first, or what I assume is the last chest, and probably get this upgrade as well. So I don't know if it's even worth getting this up to 50 because we're hitting quite a lot with our spirits, and we'll probably actually cap out on stacks more than you know need to be applying new stacks. That's my thought process anyway, but oh well. I've already spent the money, so there's, it's not really worth uh, complaining about it now. we would probably be better off I mean, the likelihood of us getting rid of phase would have been really low, but maybe using that might have been a better option. I wonder what, what's giving us our, like, absolutely super uh, jump. Like, we don't normally dodge roll that far, I'm, I'm convinced. Unless it's just a movement speed thing. Um, oh, we could trade into this. This would increase our DPS quite a bit. Hmm. But oh. let's, let's do it. I, I'm trying to think what we'd really not want to not want to lose. I mean, I'm sort of looking... I, we don't want to lose any Flame Lash. I'm also... I want to lose a dragon stone. I mean, that will do for now. We've got a lot more attack speed now as we hit the same thing. There you go. Look, look at that. Rapid fire. And with our field rations, maybe that's going to make it easier for us to stand completely still for the boss. I don't know. I'm, I'm building this purely because of how I think the boss is going to work. I'm just worried our regular healing's not quite strong enough. So we just have to wait here for this door to unlock. Don't think it should take too long. Hoping. Anyway. What's going to be sad is I was going to release this video because I don't want to release VODs 
like stream VODs on the slot that I normally do the YouTube videos. But it would feel strange not to release the stream win before the YouTube win. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably still going to release this one first, though it might uh, lose the impact of the stream win um, and just go from there because what I want to do as much as possible is keep that mid midnight, well, midnight UK time slot. So that is a portal, by the way, that would let you re-loop through the, through the game. And hopefully we'll be trying that in another video soon. But for now, it is boss time. I don't necessarily give us super strong odds in this. I feel like we probably should have the win. Like looking at the amount of rares and things we have, I just, you know, I'm a bit of a flop when it comes to this fight. So, well, the two times that I've done it. So let's uh, go in. In fact, I'm going to start. I don't think this will charge up until he gets close. And then let's just go to town is what I'm thinking. Keep an eye on your health if you go really low. In fact, this is probably a time to dodge out the way. And see, we haven't done much damage, have we? I don't know if it's because he's so close that we're not, we're like clipping through him maybe a bit. But we're also not taking too much damage. Um, so maybe this is going to be a bit of a slog one. Let's see if I can get the mortar shot here. Yeah, that was a good mortar shot. Oh, we're, we're nearly dead. How did that happen? Um, Canopic Jar. Have 15 total rare mutation. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to get some healing done. Oh, he does. This is the thing. He, he never does stop you. This is the problem. We have, we're sort of hoping that our dodge chance keeps working for us here. And I'm just trying to run away a bit. I mean, we are healing up quite high. Um, it's not going too badly. I just I don't think I could just stand and tank. That was probably a bit hopeful by me. Um, slowly getting there. Um, I'm healing up quite a bit, which is good. I always, it's almost like these uh, aliens are the things I'm worried about because I I can't hit them very well. And we just took a lot of damage just there. But he, he's going he's going down. Our cooldowns seem really really low. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like that was us firing our right click. I don't know if you saw that. That was the that was our like push through shots there. We were just doing it over and over, um, which is good to see. Yeah, look, I think we've got double hits on everything. I'm not. Is that is this something that I should not be looking? Look, you can focus after you killed the boss. I mean, focus on the boss, and then you can look at all all the cool synergies that you have. Um, oh, come on, I believe he's got a massive dodge chance as well. This fate. I just realised they've got level four phase, and they're trying to beat me on my own game. I'm the dodge lord in this game, not you. Is that hitting him? I think it is. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm just trying to build this up. Oh, we took a lot of... We didn't get our dodge very often there at all. Just keep keep moving, keep moving. Try and get our healing up. Get some more strikes where we can. Yeah, I don't know what that, that big circle is that's going around the, the, the level. But we're now back to full health, so we can chill a bit more at least. And he's going down. I, d I think we're going to get this win. We just have to be a bit more focused. It's definitely a lot more of a slog than the one I did on stream. Like, that one was over in, in sort of seconds. We just absolutely destroyed him. I think it's probably because we haven't really got... I mean, to be fair, it's, it's not too bad. But I feel like we haven't got an Azul item that really complements our build. Like, we're probably better off getting the Totem of the Crow again. Like, that's what I had on the stream. And... Oh, I thought we just won then. But it was just him teleporting. Uh, we have... We just have to hope. If we get a load of missed... Like, we don't dodge properly a lot of times in a row. And he does. We could easily still die. So we do have to keep a bit of focus on in this fight. Um, and we are at 30 minutes just on this one run. Um, but I think he is going down very soon. You know, if I don't, if I do say so myself, just need to. Yeah, I don't think I don't have anything to worry about. Sorry if the this what I've been talking about is in complete nonsense during this fight. But oh, no, 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 no. oh, I should not take my eye off the prize. As soon as I say, oh, we we've got this one, no problem, then that that just happens. I'm trying to trying to run. Uh, Ninety health. Oh, just keep dodging, keep keep dodging. There we go. Doing the double shift. That is really helpful for getting us a window to uh, run away. And there we go. Come on. He's nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. We've, I think we I'm not going to say we've got this because every time I say that, it looks like we're about to die. And the amount of mutations that they're getting while this is up is, is pretty crazy. I think that's probably why it's taking longer. Is he actually does keep uh, healing. Uh, not healing. Getting more mutations. Look, look at his dodge chance. Are we still only at four phasing? Yeah, we are still only at four phasing. I'm hoping our dots are doing a reasonable amount to him. Oh my god, we just went really low. I don't know if you just saw that. I'm just trying to sprint. In fact, I think we popped. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, we leveled up. Let's not... Let's take our eyes off the prize. We still need to kill him. But that was a very lucky level up. We also popped our preserving oil in order to do that. So we were very close to dying there. And amplified. We have so many red... I know there was that thing. There was an achieve... Oh, no, come on, come on. Come on, keep dodging, keep dodging. Oh, come on. He, he's, he's dead. He's dead, right? How can, he, how can he still be alive? How many dodges is he getting? Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He is officially down. 
Fishing down. Look at all that blood. Oh, look at all that blue blood. We did it. Absolutely no worries at all. I wasn't concerned. Were you concerned when you watched this? And now we've just like doubled our kill death record. So that is perfect. And three unlocks. Very, very good. We'll have to try these out in the next run. Let's have a quick look at them. I know this is already going over, but increasing the applied stack size of burn, freeze, poison. That sounds really good if we're going to do a dot run. Reduces the rate of instability gain. Okay, that's pretty useful. And then what was the other one? We have this. Trickster's ban. Dodging an attack heals. That would be really good in this run for obvious reasons. But for now, I'm Aussie JTV signing off. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see who we play next time.